Punctures are a fairly rare occurrence, thankfully, but they do happen. How would you deal with a puncture? Well, first thing, you need to know where your breakdown kit is. So jack, jack handle, wheel brace. It's worth keeping these somewhere convenient. If you have a puncture and you need to get at them, it's no good than being buried in the back of the garage. They need to be somewhere where you can get at them. You also need to know where the jacking points are on the vehicle. On this one, here's the jacking point at the front. On the rear, it's just in front of the rear axle. You need to know where these are. That's your jack. The peg of the jack locates into a hole in the bottom of the jacking point so that it will be firm and stable. You need to know where your spare wheel is, how to get it out of its cradle. Sometimes it's mounted on the back of the vehicle, inside a housing, sometimes it's mounted underneath in a cradle. You just need to be able to get at it. So how do you actually deal with a puncture? Well, first and foremost, if you have a puncture while you're out on the road, don't try and change it yourself. Call your breakdown service. Get your vehicle parked as safely as you can. Call your breakdown service. They will send a man out in a van to do it for you. Your punctures are almost always going to happen in the dark when it's raining, you've got your best clothes on. The last thing you want to be doing is mauling, rolling with a heavy wheel. So call your breakdown service, let them come and do it. The driver will park his vehicle behind yours in a safe position where it will deflect traffic away from your vehicle. If you try doing it yourself, you're putting yourself in a dangerous position. So that's the safety bit over with. If you're on site and you've got a puncture, you can change it yourself. Obviously, you want to wear protective clothing. Insert your jack into the jacking point. As you wind it up, that peg on the top will locate in the hole under the jacking point, making sure it's on firm and stable ground. If the ground is a little bit soft, you can put a lump of wood under it, a chock, put that on flat, put the jack on there, that will spread the load and make it stable for you. Before you jack the vehicle up, you need to loosen the wheel bolts. Do that with your wheel wrench. They will be tight, just need to crack them loose because once the vehicle's jacked up, this wheel will rotate freely and you won't be able to undo them. So always slacken them first. So now we need to raise the vehicle up, which we do by winding the jack up with the ratchet handle. Nearly there now. It does take quite a while to lift the vehicle up like this, but you need to get the wheel off the ground for obvious reasons. There we go, we're spinning. So now you can remove your wheel bolts one by one. When you come to loosen the last bolt out, Hold the wheel with your other hand because its natural tendency will be to rock away from the vehicle and that'll make it difficult to get that last bolt out. Now we've got the bolts out, we can take the wheel away, get your spare, bring it back. So you need to line the bolt holes up to the holes in the wheel flange and then get a bolt in. Always start all of the bolts by hand. Sometimes people use a power gun to put wheel bolts in, which is all very well, but if you put the bolt in with the power gun to start, you can very easily cross thread it. So always start them by hand. Start all of them before you tighten them up, and then the wheel will be centered properly on the hub. Now we've got them all started, we can tighten them up. Just nip them. The wheel is now firmly secured, but the bolts aren't tight. You can now lower the vehicle back onto the wheel. At this point, I would just nip the wheel bolts with your wrench, tighten them in a diagonal pattern. So with a five stud wheel, you do like the Star of David. Just nipping them there will just make sure the wheel is seated properly before you put the full weight of the vehicle back onto it. Now we can finish winding it down. Right, 
So now it's back off the jack. Pop that out of the way. You can now just tighten the wheel bolts properly. You can find out the correct wheel bolt torque from your vehicle manufacturer. So just to recap, know where your toolkit is, know how to use it. Be sure that your jack can actually lift your vehicle. Very large motorhomes that have got an extended chassis may be heavier than the scissor jack can cope with. If that's the case, get yourself a little trolley jack that's capable of lifting the vehicle. Know where your spare wheel is. Be sure it's inflated. A flat spare is about as much use as a chocolate fire guard. And work safely. That is the most important thing. You're no good to anybody if you've got a motorhome on your back. If the ground's uneven, use a block of wood to level it and make it firm. If you have a puncture while you're out on the road, don't bother trying to change it yourself. Call your breakdown service, let them do it. They know what they're doing, they're trained for it, and you're paid for it. Use the service. Hope you found this helpful. I'll see you next time.